If you're feeling overwhelmed, stressed, or just plain lazy, this video is for you. Tony here, we talk art and design tech, consider subscribing. I wanna share six favorite productivity apps that will change the way you think about your day. Number six, Hootsuite. If you've ever felt overwhelmed trying to post all of your social media consistently, this app is the number one solution. Hootsuite is the ultimate social media scheduling app. I work with a few different clients on managing their online content and scheduling their post here at the beginning of the week, and it makes my life a breeze. Hootsuite's basic account allows you to post 10 social media accounts at the same time. Usually, I'll schedule a post for Facebook that will also show up on Instagram. Their basic plan starts at $49 a month. You might be thinking, how does this apply to you or a creative professional? Well, if you want to build your presence online, I find it much easier to schedule out your content. Think about what you're wanting to communicate for a month or a few weeks out at your pace, then schedule it when you're ready. It posts automatically to your social media so you can get back to work. Really the only drawback is it cannot post videos over one minute or a multiple carousel image on Instagram. So only one image per post as of the recording on this video for Instagram. Hootsuite has a free 30 day trial if you wanna try it out first. Speechify. Speechify is a new app that I found that has saved me so much time. If you hate reading like me, this app is for us. Speechify is able to read online blog articles as well as papers that you may be writing for school or presentations for work. Also scripts, unread emails, PDFs, or other lengthy documents, Speechify makes it easy. I don't know what it is, but for me, having to stare at a screen and concentrate makes me wanna run away. Reading all of the text can make me feel so drained. So being able to hear the information, process it while doing something else, actually allows me to be more attentive and getting through the material is a breeze. Speechify offers some paid voices, even Gwyneth Paltrow's voice is on there, which is crazy. I was surprised how natural some of the voices sound. I was fully ready for a robotic sounding voice, but based on how often you use the app, they give you free access to more premium sounding voices. So if you love Audible and maybe what you need read is not on Audible and some other form, you can have this read it for you. Finally, read through that massive list of emails. Apple also offers something called spoken content that has great voices for Mac users. It functions similar to Speechify, but right in your Safari browser and other apps. It basically kills my anxiety every day, and I love it. Reminders. If you have an iPhone, chances are you've seen this app. The Reminders app is available for free when you get an iPhone. It basically allows you to schedule different things you need to be done throughout the day, as well as categorize these things within separate lists. For example, if you have tasks that need to be completed for work, or you want to set an alarm to draw at the same time every day, you can create a list called Art Practice or Drawing Time. One of my favorite features in this app is that you can add alerts to your reminders to alert you hourly, which is great for certain tasks that I may not do immediately, but I would like to be reminded over and over. Honestly, I'm not always 100% with every task on my list, but it is so nice to have these reminders when I need to complete something important that I may have forgotten about. The Reminders app also makes it very easy to move tasks that may not have been completed to the next day or to a different time that may fit better. Because this app is on your Apple device by default, it connects to your tablet, Mac, and obviously your phone at the same time, so you're able to update everything easily. If you want to get stuff done, this app will help you do it. The Google Drive app. If you can say that three times fast, put it down in the comments and also say I am a member of the X-Men because it's not possible. The Google Drive app is an app that I use every single day. If I'm sending clients artwork, logos, or sharing presentations of concepts that we are working on, it makes everything so easy. With most people having a Google account, it's a no-brainer to use Google Docs, Sheets, and Google Slides. 
I usually create on my laptop, then access Google Docs on my iPad Pro. For example, if you need to tweak a presentation before meeting with a client, you can also share anything in your Google Docs or slides very easily. This is not a super flashy fine arts app, but it does get the job done and it has been reliable for me. You can even use the Google Drive to save your artwork directly to it and based upon how many Google accounts that you have, you can continue to use multiple drives for Google for free. The Clock App. This may seem like a strange addition to this list, but honestly, this should be number one. I have found with the best intentions, detailed scheduling and planning can be sabotaged by bad time management. You know how a clock works, so I'm not even gonna bore you with the details, but adding a timer to your work that you're doing is a life changer. Whether you're drawing, writing, studying, or editing a video, having a timer allows you to be more productive. It's like teleporting to the moment when you only have one hour left to finish your homework. There's nothing like a good freak out to help you get your work done. I've used 30 minutes, 20 minutes, and 40 minute timers to get things done. Even if you don't get the task completed fully, being able to see how fast you get work done and giving yourself an aim to complete work is a life hack that is priceless. But for the next app, what are your favorite productivity apps? Let me know in the comments below. Notion, it had to be on the list. If you've been watching any productivity videos, Notion is always on the list. Notion is an app that I'm very new to using. However, it does seem to be promising. Notion, similar to Reminders, allows you to organize things you need to get done. The nice thing about Notion, however, is you can move items. For example, if you are at a sketch phase of a drawing, you can move it to line work. And if you have multiple pieces or multiple projects that you're working on, you can progress them individually to different stages of completion. And it's really easy to see your progress. Imagine having all of your commissions in a list, being able to see which ones are sketched out, which ones you're just beginning, which ones you're starting to paint, or you're awaiting payment from a client. Give your brain a break and try Notion. It has a lot of free features. There are some additional paid features, but I really like free. So I would say give it a try and see if it works for you. Finally get organized so you can get back to creating. I'm always looking for new ways to make my life easier. So be sure to share your favorite productivity apps with me below. Watch this video next.